Um, but they subconsciously cycle there uh, over and over and over again until you actually sit down and process through them. So what a lot of people experience is that there's, there's been like challenges and events and past traumas and things of that nature, um, however big or however small, that still impact their life today. And um, I guess that's one of the main reasons why the content is very big and very heavy on forgiveness. Um, for myself, like I've been going through a lot of that as well, because um, I think it's it's a really good way to um, to help regulate your uh, emotional state. And I think that when you don't have a thing in place that allows you to do that, um, it kind of like stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks and it builds up. And um, a lot of people have this almost like this tipping point where they just they just snap. And we sometimes see this a lot with. Um, who we'll go through midlife crisis or like uh, who've gone through a lot of stress and a lot of um, a lot of challenges when they're growing up and what they do is they usually just ignore the issue it becomes too overwhelming for them to deal with at that point in time so what their strategy is is that I'll do it later and they push it back and they push it back and they push it back and what happens is that, that those issues don't actually go away they sit in the subconscious mind and they continue to cycle there every now and again showing itself in the conscious mind, which is why those thoughts come to you sometimes, um, but they subconsciously cycle there uh, over and over and over again until you actually sit down and process through them. So the challenge with that is that um, when you don't deal with the energy that's there or the if it, if it is a hurt or if it is a, uh, a challenge or a resentment or something like that that you still haven't, haven't let go of, if that is still there, then what happens is that you continue to vibrate at that level.